Quote, it is not an overstatement to say that Dimanisi may be the most important single locality anywhere in the pre-1 million year hominid fossil record, end quote. Professor Adam Van Arsdale, Wellesley University. The first Homo erectus bones discovered in Europe were found in 1991 at Dimanisi in the Republic of Georgia. National Geographic 2016. About a quarter of a century ago, a 1.8 million year old skull fossil was discovered that wound up altering scientific consensus on humans' earliest known ancestors to venture outside of Africa. Now a team of young archaeologists have made a further discovery that could alter the timeline of the arrival of Homo erectus in Eurasia. Georgia, on the crossroads of Europe and Asia. The Republic of Georgia is a mountainous land that sits on the isthmus between the Caspian and Black Seas. Dimanisi is a small village in the Caucasus mountain range. It is about 45 miles southwest of the capital of Tbilisi. There are ruins of a medieval castle at Dimanisi. Archaeologists have been digging there for decades. In 1990, they were completely surprised when they discovered bones of an ancient rhinoceros on a lower level of the dig site. Soon after, they discovered Homo erectus bones, including a partial skull. Michael Balter, writing at The Verge, researchers have been digging at Dimanisi since the 1980s when they found remains of ancient plants and animals. Continuing, in 1991, prehistorians from Georgia and Germany launched a new round of excavations at the site. Continuing, they got lucky the first year finding the jawbone of an early human just above a layer of volcanic rock dated 1.8 million years ago. Continuing, two years later, the Dimanisi team, led by David Lord Kipanitsi, discovered two human skulls in equally old volcanic layers. Some of the original Dimanisi team members are shown here. Goka Kilatse was the one who first spotted the skulls. David Lord Kipanitsi, father of Caucasus archaeology, pronounced Lord Kipanitsi. Go to Institute, Germany. The director of the Georgian National Museum, David Lordkipanitsi, is considered one of the most prestigious paleoanthropologists and archaeologists worldwide. Continuing, for more than 20 years, he has led the excavations of Dimanitsi in Georgia. He became famous mainly by the finds there of a 1.8 million year old skeletal remains of early hominids. Lord Kipanitsi has been a celebrated lecturer at numerous international forums and in media worldwide, including the World Economic Forum. National Geographic 2016, Lord Kipanitsi led the excavation of the site, including Skull 5, an astonishingly complete skull of an adult male. Continuing, Lord Kipanitsi concluded that all early human fossils belonged to the same species, Homo erectus. That ran against the prevailing view. The Verge, 2017. Other scientists were skeptical. Conventional wisdom at the time held that humans had not left Africa much before one million years ago. Continuing, the skepticism persisted even after a human foot bone was found at Dimanisi in 1997. Out of Africa versus multi-regional. Britannica, in human evolution, at one extreme is multi-regional evolution, or the regional continuity model. At the other is the African replacement, or out of Africa model. Multi-regional hypothesis proposes that Homo erectus left Africa one to two million years ago and evolved separately in Eurasia, thus 
distinct morphology for Europeans, Asians, Oceanians, and Aborigines, separate from the Africans. Multi-regional origins would explain the massive variation in human morphology. Some of the best-known multi-regional theorists include Milford Wolpoff, Anatoly Klyasov, and Professor Wu Xinqi. Quote, race exists because scientists have shown that there are genetic differences between populations. We know that. We can see that there's differences between populations. End quote. Professor Rachel Kaspari was married to Milford Wolpoff. Note aside, University of Wisconsin professor John Hawks, who got his PhD under Wolpoff, has tried to distance himself from his multi-regional past. Hawks has deleted awkward posts from his early 2000s blog. Top Ivy League anthropology professor, multi-regional past. Adam Van Arsdale is a professor of anthropology at Wellesley University. He's a frequent visitor to the Demonisi site and has assisted in excavation efforts. Professor Van Arsdale co-authored a paper in 2013 with multi-regionalist University of Michigan professor Milford Wolpoff. The duo took a rather controversial stance on Demonisi. From Van Arsdale's blog, all the fossil variation in East Africa gets divided by some into Homo habilis, Homo rudolfensis, Homo ergaster and Homo erectus because the specimens are too variable to represent a single species. Continuing, viewed from Demonisi, suddenly it all looks like a single evolving lineage, or at least makes it harder to reject that idea as a starting hypothesis. Indeed, this is the exact conclusion I reached in a paper published earlier this year with Milford Wopal. The Wolpoff found Arsdale hypothesis posits that Europeans, Asians, Oceanians emerged from Demonisi Homo erectus 1.8 million years ago, completely separate from the Africans. Pushback against Demonisi. With the collapse of the Soviet Union, it was a chaotic time in the former republics. Much like Ukraine, Georgia suffered from rampant corruption and mob activity. Demonisi director Goka Kiladze, quote, We cannot exclude a possibility that we must deal with a carefully planned malicious plot to discredit the architects of Demonisi's success, end quote. Lord Kipandizzi was not known for having a tactful personality. He made a lot of enemies rather quickly, especially when the skulls were first announced. Lord Kipandizzi told the French newspaper Le Monde that Georgia was now, quote, officially the birthplace of Europe, end quote. In an interview with a Spanish publication, he said that the pushback was intense. Other paleoanthropologists said, quote, it was impossible, end quote, for Homo erectus to be in Europe at such an early date. Paleoanthropologists Alan Walker and Pat Shipman were top out of Africa proponents. They were both with Richard Leakey in 1984 when he discovered the Turkana boy. Pat Shipman, a professor at Penn State, authored a paper at ResearchGate in 2000, quote, doubting Diminizzi, end quote. She wondered if upstarts like Lord Kipanizzi should be held to a higher standard than the matriarchs and great silverbacks of paleoanthropology. Fossil digging by day, frolicking at night. Drunken all night parties fueled by cha cha, 80 proof prune brandy became the norm at the Demonisi site. Lord Kipanitsi was in charge of the National Museum in Tbilisi. He had also set up a field school for paleoanthropology at Demonisi. During the post-Soviet era, a steady stream of college interns from U.S. Ivy League colleges 
50% to the former republics. Many were sent to intern at Dimenisi. Lord Kipanitsi and other male staff at Dimenisi were soon accused of sexual harassment. Quote, sure, now and then an attractive female grad student could expect to receive passes. This went beyond that, an assault unwanted, end quote, Dr. Pat Shipman. By 2017, archaeological digs at Dimenisi were scaled back and in some cases halted altogether. In 2022, Gocha Kalizi, discoverer of the first Dimenisi skull, was found dead on the museum grounds of mysterious causes. It was being investigated as a quote unquote suicide. Dimenitsi consistent with Homo erectus finds in China. Multi-regional direct lineage from Homo erectus is what Chinese anthropologists have been arguing for decades. Out of Africa proponents have been especially upset over the Chinese push for direct lineage from Homo erectus. The BBC even sent Alice Roberts to challenge Professor Xin Shi to his face in 2012 telling him there was no difference between African and Chinese Homo erectus skulls. Dr. Shi Huang, January 2021, the long-awaited detailed investigation by Professor Wu Xin Shi into the 250,000-year-old Dali skull from China has just been published. Both modern and archaic features that show its way to modern humans. Quote, China may contain the best evidence for supporting the multi-regional model. A couple of skulls dated to roughly 100,000 years ago. They seem to possess a mixture of classic Homo erectus and Homo sapiens traits. End quote. Donald Johansson, discoverer of Lucy Australopithecus afarensis. Demonizzi, back on. Excavations resumed two years later under new management and with an entirely new team of young, eager anthropologists. The fun-loving, rambunctious crew were dubbed the Orismani Squad, taken from the name of the new site a few hundred meters away. One of the members of the Orismani Squad hit the jackpot. An even older Homo erectus bone was found. It adds further solid evidence for multi-regional and separate origins for Eurasians. Neil Pert, Oxford University grad student who made the discovery, quote, the implications not just for this site, but for Georgia and the story of humans leaving Africa 1.8 million years ago are enormous, end quote. More to come on the Orismani squad and the discovery at Dimenisi. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments section what you thought of the video. Thank you.